بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson and also uh, today's uh, unit will be taking unit 2 will be beginning with listen and discuss so unit 2 is title as you can notice here as you can notice here you are what you eat you are what you eat so let's discuss the goals here the vocabulary food eating habits so I think from the title and from the vocabulary now you know the theme of this unit you are what you eat. What does it mean, actually? You are what you eat. Yes, very good. It means that you, if you are eating healthy, you will be healthy. If you're eating unhealthy food, you will not be healthy. So you are what you eat. So I think it is obvious that this unit will be talking about uh, food and health and so on. So the vocabulary food and eating habits, the functions, offer, accept, and decline food and drink, how to offer food, accept food, and to decline food. The grammar, separable and non-separable phrases, verbs, three-word phrasal, uh, phrasal verbs, listening, listen for sequence in process, pronunciation, stress out, uh, stress on two and three-word uh, phrasal verbs, reading, accidental food discoveries. This is interesting here, accidental food discoveries. Writing, write an essay about a memorable event. Four meaning and function, count, non-counts, nouns, uh, expressions of quantity, some, any, a few, a lot, of much, uh, a lot of, much, many, enough, words connected with recipes. So all of this we'll be learning in this uh, unit. So today's objectives for the listen and discuss Name an unusual uh, food you eat. Analyze the saying, you are what you eat, just as we did previously. Relate uh, meaning to the word, indicate text ideas, evaluate information about the text. So, have you eaten any unusual food lately? Lately, have you been traveling or trying some new restaurant, a uh, new recipe at home? Have you eaten any unusual food lately? something unusual, something weird, something you don't eat every day or that commonly? If yes, try to share it with your uh, friends. What was it? What did it taste like? How did you feel about eating it? So share it with your friends. What was it? How did you feel when you eat it? What was the taste? So share all of these with your friends. So what was it? What did it taste like? Did it taste good? bitter, salty, and so on. What did you feel about, uh, or how did you feel uh, when you ate it? So continuing here uh, the, uh, for the questions, what is the most unusual thing you have ever eaten? So not just lately, through your whole life. What is the uh, most unusual food or dish, let's say, that you have ever eaten? So if you have an answer, try to share it with your uh, friends. Number two here, are you careful about the kinds of foods that you eat? Why or why not? Are you careful about uh, uh, the food you eat? Do you count the calories, the carbohydrates and so on? Are you careful? Do you clean them? Are you careful about the food you eat? Why or why not? Of course, I'm careful because uh, you are what you eat. If it's healthy, if it's clean, I will be too. What do you think the expression you are what you eat means? Do you agree? So I think we discussed this earlier, you are what you eat. We said that you are what you eat. If you're eating healthy, you would be healthy. If you don't eat healthy, you will be too. If you don't eat healthy, you will not be healthy. If you eat healthy, clean food, that would be you. So do you agree with the saying, you are what you eat? This is your own opinion. This is your own uh, saying. So food myths, this is today's lesson, food myths. Circle true or false, then read and check your answer. So let's just answer these true or false. Before reading, just trying to speculate, before reading, let's try to guess, is it true or false? Then, of course, we'll be answer, answering them correctly after 
we have listened to the text. So number one here, many Japanese restaurants serve a kind of fish that can kill, that can kill diners without, uh, within hours if it is not prepared properly. Again, many Japanese restaurants serve a kind of fish that can uh, kill diners with, within hours if it is not prepared uh, properly. So, do you think this is true or false? So try to guess here. Do you think that there, uh, there is some kind of fish like that? Number two, eating chocolate has been linked to an increase in heart, in heart disease. So do you think that there's a link between eating chocolate and heart disease? What do you think? Is this true or false? Number three, fresh, uh, fresh vegetables are healthier than frozen vegetables. Of course, some of us keep uh, uh, vegetables frozen. Do you think that they are as nutritious as fresh vegetables? Is this saying true or false? Fresh vegetables are healthier than frozen vegetables? If it's true or false, we will know. But what do you think before we read? I think this is false. This is me. I, I'm not, I'm not uh, sure I'm right or wrong, but I think it's false. We will see later. Number four, apples, potatoes, and onions all taste the same when eaten while holding your nose. Apples, potatoes, and onions. When you close your nose without smelling, when you eat them, these three vegetables, they have the same taste. Do you think this is true or false? This is really interesting. Again, apples, potatoes, and onions all taste the same when, when eating, uh, when you eat while holding your nose. So you don't smell what you eat. Is this true or false? This is hard to guess, actually. Red dye, pro uh, red dye produced from uh, grinding up insects is used in many food items. Again, red dye, uh, red dye produced from grinding up insects, grinding up insects is used in many food items. Red dyed, dyed it means to add a color. Red dyed food from grinding, grinding like it's like almost like smashing insects together. Do you think this is true or not? In many food items, we will see if this is true or false. So these are the articles. We will listen to them at first, then we will be answering together. So let's listen to them. 1. Blowfish, which are considered a delicacy in Japan, contain deadly toxins. If not properly prepared, eating blowfish can lead to death by poisoning. Victims usually die within four to four hours of consuming the fish. Blowfish diners count on specially licensed chefs to prepare the fish safely. 2. A number of studies have shown that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart disease and cancer. Scientists believe that antioxidants reduce the chances of developing these diseases. Antioxidants are also thought to enhance blood flow and help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Dark chocolate and cocoa powder are particularly rich sources of antioxidants. In fact, ounce for ounce, dark chocolate and cocoa have more antioxidants than antioxidant-rich foods like blueberries and green tea. Of course, it's not good to eat too much chocolate, but it's not a good idea to cut chocolate out altogether, either. So here, these are the first two articles. Here we're discussing blowfish, which are considered, uh, uh, which are in Japan, of course, contain deadly toxins, are poisonous, if not properly, if not a proper, uh, properly prepared. If not properly prepared, they can be, they can be poisonous. Eating blowfish, uh, eating blowfish can lead to death by poisoning. Victims usually die within four to four hours of consuming the fish. Uh, blowfish diners count on specially licensed chefs to prepare the fish safely. So this is the true or false about the uh, fish. Number two is, is talking about the chocolate. A number of studies have shown that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart diseases and 
cancer. So just from uh, the uh, first three sentences, you can guess the true or false here that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart disease and cancer. Scientists believe that uh, antioxidants reduce the chances of developing these diseases. Antioxidants are also thought to enhance blood flow and help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. So I think this tells us a lot about uh, chocolates. Dark, dark chocolate and cocoa powder are particularly rich sources of antioxidants. In fact, ounce for ounce, dark chocolate and cocoa have more antioxidants than antioxidants rich foods like blueberries and green tea. So I think now we know a little bit about the previous questions of true or false. Let's jump to the other articles here. Let's listen. 3. Frozen vegetables are at least as nutritious as fresh vegetables, and may sometimes actually be healthier. Fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak at the moment they are picked. However, they often spend days or weeks in transit, in the produce aisle, and in your refrigerator. Over time, vegetables lose vitamins and minerals. However, frozen vegetables are picked and frozen at their peak. Freezing locks the vitamins and minerals in. When you do buy fresh vegetables, try to pick out ones that seem fresh and have been grown locally. 4. Up to 80% of taste comes not from our taste buds, but from our sense of smell. Taste buds allow us to identify bitter, salty, sweet, and sour flavors. But we depend on the smell of foods to give us most of our sense of flavor. So without smelling the aroma of a food, it is difficult to distinguish one flavor from another. Incidentally, this is why food loses its flavor when you have a stuffed up nose. 5. Many food items with a deep red color, including fruit juices, candies, and gelatin, include a dye called cochineal or carmin. This dye comes from the shells of the female cochineal insect, which is found in South and Central America. The dye has been used for centuries and dates back to the Aztecs. So number three here, frozen vegetables are at least as nutritious as fresh vegetables. I think this sentence here already answered the true or false. Are fresh vegetables and frozen vegetables they have, are they, they say, uh, are they as nutritious as each other and may sometimes actually be healthier. So sometimes the frozen vegetables are healthier than fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak at the moment they are picked. However, they often spend days or weeks in transit uh, in the produce of, uh, in the, in the uh, produce aisles and in your refrigerator. So, I think this answers our question, which is healthier. Number four, up to 80% of, uh, up to 80 of taste comes not from our taste buds, but from our senses of smell. So 80% of the taste comes from your nose, comes from when you smell what you eat. Taste buds allow us to identify bitter, salty, sweet, and sour flavors, but we depend on the smell of foods to give us uh, most of our sense of flavors. So without smelling the aroma of a food, it is, diff it is difficult to distinguish one flavor from another. Uh, incidentally, this is why food loses its flavor when you have a stuffed up nose, which is correct. If you remember, when you have a cold, when your nose is stuffed, you can't smell food Tastes, uh, tastes differently, if you remember. Number five here, many food items with a deep red color, including uh, fruit juices, candies, and gelatin, include the, a dye, a dye called uh, cochineal or carmine. This dye comes from the shell of the female cochineal insect. So this red color really does come from an insect which is found in South and Central America. The dye has been used for centuries and dates back to the uh, Aztecs. So before we answer the true or false, here uh, the, uh, some vocabulary practice for you. Find four words used to describe flavors, then 
name the two foods that have each of the those flavors so find four words four words used to describe flavors try to come up from the article four words that are used to describe a flavor then name some them name two foods or more that have each of these flavors or of those flavors so what's the first one let's get them one by one what's the first one okay i've written the first one here is bitter to describe a flavor when you eat something that is bitter or drink something that is bitter such as what what is bitter so for example here coffee or some kinds of lettuce so you can say bitter is the opposite of sweet bitter is the opposite of sweet so bitter just like a coffee or some kinds of uh, lettuce the second one is for example sour this is an easy one just like lemons or green apples and we have salty and sweet also salty like potato chips olives from the word itself salty which has a taste of salt just like potato chips and olives and sweet you know sweet just like candy and uh, cookies so bitter and sweet are opposite bitter and sweet are opposite so these are the four uh, words that to, to describe flavor bitter sour salty and uh, uh, sweet so here's a chart also fill the chart and list all of the food words you can find in the uh, presentation on pages 20 and 21 so name the fruits the vegetables here sweets and fish so try to come up with all of the words mentioned in the article the fruits the vegetables the sweets and also fish so to answer this let's listen to the article again so let's listen to, to uh, the article again and fill the chart with the correct words let's listen one blowfish which are considered a delicacy in japan contain deadly toxins if not properly prepared eating blowfish can lead to death by poisoning victims usually die within four to four hours of consuming the fish Blowfish diners count on specially licensed chefs to prepare the fish safely. 2. A number of studies have shown that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart disease and cancer. Scientists believe that antioxidants reduce the chances of developing these diseases. Antioxidants are also thought to enhance blood flow and help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Dark chocolate and cocoa powder are particularly rich sources of antioxidants. In fact, ounce for ounce, dark chocolate and cocoa have more antioxidants than antioxidant-rich foods like blueberries and green tea. Of course, it's not good to eat too much chocolate, but it's not a good idea to cut chocolate out altogether, either. 3. Frozen vegetables are at least as nutritious as fresh vegetables and may sometimes actually be healthier. Fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak at the moment they are picked. However, they often spend days or weeks in transit, in the produce aisle, and in your refrigerator. Over time, vegetables lose vitamins and minerals. However, frozen vegetables are picked and frozen at their peak. Freezing locks the vitamins and minerals in. When you do buy fresh vegetables, Try to pick out ones that seem fresh and have been grown locally. 4. Up to 80% of taste comes not from our taste buds, but from our sense of smell. Taste buds allow us to identify bitter, salty, sweet, and sour flavors. But we depend on the smell of foods to give us most of our sense of flavor. So without smelling the aroma of a food, it is difficult to distinguish one flavor from another. Incidentally, this is why food loses its flavor when you have a stuffed up nose. 5. Many food items with a deep red color, including fruit juices, candies, and gelatin, include a dye called cochineal or carmine. This dye comes from the shells of the female cochineal insect, which is found in South and Central America. 
The dye has been used for centuries and dates back to the Aztecs. So now that we have listened to the article again, let's answer here the, uh, the, the chart here. Uh, fruits, what about the fruits here? Yes, there were two fruits mentioned. Very good, blueberries and apples. What about vegetables? There were many vegetables mentioned here. Very good, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, onions and potatoes. What about sweets? Let's see sweets here. Yes, gelatin, chocolate, and very good. Candies, about, about fish, only one. It was just the uh, blowfish. Here's the quick check here, vocabulary. Find words in the quiz that mean, uh, number one, an inexpensive and or hard to find food. So which word from the vocabulary means this one? An inexpensive or hard to find food, we say delicacy. Very good. Poisonous. Poisonous, the same meaning as poisonous. Very good. We say toxins. Having legal permission to do something. When you have a legal permission to do something, what do we call this to have a legal permission? Yes, this is an easy one here to have a license when licensed. To keep something in good shape from another. To keep something from good shape from another. So what do we say here? Maintain. Number five, the highest point. So the highest point is, yes, the peak. Fragment, uh, uh, fragrant smell. Fragrant smell. What's the fragrant smell? Very good. It's the aroma. Number seven, to be able to identify one, to be able to identify one, of course, we say to distinguish, to be able to identify one is to distinguish between two or more things. Comprehension, answer true or false, victims of blowfish poisoning suffer months of illness before they die. Is this true or false? Months of illness before they die? It's false, of course. Number two. Antioxidants can help prevent the development of heart diseases. So, number two is very good, it's true. Number three, blueberries are the food richest in antioxidants. Blueberries are the food richest in, in, in antioxidants. I think this is false. Number four, fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak when they are cooked. So, they are uh, the uh, nutrition uh, peak when they are cooked. Is this right or wrong? True or false? Of course, it's false. Our taste buds are responsible for only 20% of what we uh, think of as taste. So, this is true because 80% comes for the smell and 20% as mentioned here from the taste buds. Last one. Uh, the last one, uh, cochineal has only been used as dye for the last few decades. So this is an obvious false. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu na la ilaha wa tazakfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.